Hi, Inti Society. Welcome back to the Inti Social Planet. And today we are checking out some more solo leveling and we are in the job change storyline. And I'm so excited for this. It's going to be devastating, but also incredible. I cannot physically contain my excitement at getting to see this animated. I feel like not only is experiencing it animated going to be a whole different experience from seeing the panels, the panels alone in the manhwa were so epic. And this is such an interesting and pivotal moment to the whole story that I'm just so excited to get to see it animated. And I also feel since this is going to be in the last couple of episodes, that's where some of the animation is really going to shine. I'm hoping there are some parts in the series where I can tell that they didn't put a lot of time into the animation and then other parts where I can see that they really did some cool things with it, where they do these like held shots or interesting camera movements that just make the fight scenes so dynamic that I'm just, I'm hoping that the animation for this is just going to be spectacular. Like it's just going to be something to behold along with all of the like story elements that go along with it. I'm, I'm too excited. I'm smacking my mic. Okay, so let's just get into the episode before I, I combust. <laughs> In three, two, one, go. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I mean, I get it. it'll also be devastating. I feel like this episode is going to be devastating. Like, this is going to be when he has to leave, right? Like, it's going to end with when he needs to- he doesn't actually pass. Mm -hmm. Oh, it'll make you stronger. Oh, I love the, like, shadow and how elongated it is. Ooh. Oh, I love one how we're taking time. <laughs> I like how we're taking time to like show the animation of the portal opening up, but then also showing how different it looks. Also, good thing that we pointed out that he didn't do his daily quest, quest yet, because <laughs> that's going to come back. Gosh, I'm so excited. There he is. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for this. I mean, this episode is probably going to be rough, to say the least, because uh, we're starting off confident, but that is not how this is going to go. <laughs> I feel like it's going to end with him completing it though i don't know like my gauge of the pacing of this has been all over the place as i go through the episodes <laughs> like i didn't even think that we'd have enough time to get to this storyline at all so maybe i don't know what i'm talking about maybe i just wanted more time with Tashik. i felt the same way with reading the manhwa though i felt like i didn't get enough time with him but I know that that's just me, like, fangirling. <laughs> I don't know him in particular. He's completely unhinged, but... Actually, no, I can't understand. If I talk about, like, my favorite anime characters, they're all the super unhinged ones. So... Fair enough. <laughs> Are we talking with dad again? Look at him in his suit. It seems weird. It's so like normal for him to have a suit on that I'm used to his exaggerated style. Is this the brother? Yup. The brother. I like that we're putting some of that politics into place. Oh, 
I'm like, <laughs> I'm like that's because I'm like the anticipation. <laughs> yeah, you better be careful. Lots of foreshadowing here. I'm like, you can't do this. And also you didn't do that. And <sighs> my gosh, just hearing the footsteps from like the distance too. Cool camera movement. I don't know if I love the use of 3D animation, but I feel like that always gets used with armor. I also get that, given how many of these we're going to be fighting, they may have needed to use 3D animation to, like, you can just, like, copy and paste the rig. So I can understand from, like, a time-saving and money-saving standpoint why you would just make a rig for it. You have fought an anime like this before. Ugh. There's something about Jinu just like ripping apart enemies with his bare hands that is both like epic and has like a disturbing undertone. <laughs> It sounds like a failure, but you seems confident. I think it's so interesting how aware of the rest of the world this series is. So I feel like so many anime and comics like focus in on a single location and they just forget that the whole world exists. Oof. All of the, like, negotiations and navigating around each other. I feel like Jun Ho might be the better businessman, though. Nope. It's not just knights. You don't even know yet. Nice held shot, though. I love this so much. I love that it's like a bunch of different opponents that really play off of all the different aspects of his skill set. And also, like, reference a bunch of skills that he's, like, opponents he's already encountered throughout the series. Like, it really is, like, everything else has been building up for him to be able to conquer this specific task, and I love it. Good luck with conserving. Mm. That's pretty flashy, businessman. I would have expected you to go a little more subtle. I can't believe it goes invisible. I mean, go full Jinho, okay? Embrace the armor. 
the aesthetic. Kate is a super interesting design. Like, it almost makes me think of, like, a head with, like, some kind of, like, gem. Maybe I'm thinking of Vision, maybe I'm not. I don't know. Look, going through a giant ornate door... In a dungeon, I mean, we've done that before, and it didn't end well. Well, I guess, like, I guess it depends on what you mean. It ended okay for Juno, I guess, besides the trauma. But like, he got this cool new ability. Also, I don't know if you can hear the people stomping around upstairs. I have new updoor upstairs neighbors, and for some reason, they must walk like elephants. I don't know. It, you should be afraid, but also excited. <laughs> I know how this is ultimately going to end. He looks cool, though. And I like that this is, like, looks like it's hand animated. Oh, cool camera movement! Oh, and I love the pullout so you can see that attack, like, elongated. These are cool, like, perspective shots, too, where they just, they don't have the camera in, like, a regular placement. That's just interesting. Especially in these ones where... They're trying to mimic how, ooh, I love the POV, <laughs> how they're trying to mimic how Juno is, like, disoriented by his circumstances. Like, he's trying to figure, like, get his footing, and then you get these really odd camera placements in the environment. That was a cool shot, like, the switching of the POV. Oh, I love the little mixture of, like, blue and the red. I love the way that he's just like, screw it, I'll fight with my barians. <laughs> like, there's something about that tactic that's just incredible to me. I also love the sound design there of just like taking out the music. Very manipulative. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like there will be. I 
I don't know. I feel like he's too emotionally invested. Like, I feel like it's going to start off as like, oh, this is just us assessing what's happening and coming up with a plan and being very analytical. But he's going to let his emotions get in the way. <laughs> the way that he just gets thrown, like... <laughs> Do we have a plan? Do you have a better plan? <laughs> Good thing we have that armor. I don't know if this will work the way that you want it to. Especially since you still have to get past the armor. I say that like I haven't read the Modwa. And I have some idea of how this is gonna go. I love the mixture in this fight of like long shots like pulled out. Where you can really see what's happening. And then other ones where you're like really up tight with the... The action. This is definitely the, like, <laughs> shonen fight. An actual boss fight. Since, like, the first double dungeon, I guess. Yep. I was like... Like, he's just getting tossed, isn't he? I knew this was going to be a brutal episode. All that training. To be tossed around like a ragdoll. Oh, I love the shot, though, where he's, like, on the throne. Because I was like, oh, that's going to be important later. <laughs> Like, that throne is for him. Oh. The sheer contrast of, like, how quiet it is. How much brighter it is. Uh, also showing us, like, again, reminding us what he's living for, what he's fighting for. Got the sound design. Ugh. The sheer desperation. Like, it's like, it's from this place of, like, panic, which I can understand, like, the fight or flight, right? Survival instinct. But it's, it's so different from 
other times where he's like completely detached from his emotions and then he just gets into this very like panicked frenzied way of attacking You gotta wear it. <laughs> you gotta have it be shown. Embrace. Embrace Jin Ho's ways. Mm-hmm. You should be worried. <laughs> the good luck, though. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Power by numbers. I mean, it's a good idea, but you've already used up basically all your resources with the last one. Oof, terrifying. Mm hmm Oh, it still hurts. I knew it was coming. He really does get his arms brutalized a lot throughout the series, doesn't he? Is that where we're ending the episode? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I knew that one was going to be a brutal one. Then it works before it gets better, which does make me interested. Because the main fight that I wanted was with Igris, right? That fight, I wanted that to be epic. And I love that they actually did the 2D animation for the Igris in that. I love that we spent some time on it. One of the things that really stood out to me when I was reading the manhwa was the detached brutality of it because you have this empty armor that is just throwing Jinu around. It's so much different from Taishik who had brutality to him but with this underpinning of philosophy and worldview. He had a personality that went with why he attacked with the brutality that he did. And then you have this opponent that is completely devoid of personality and emotion or character that it feels more brutal because it feels like a machine that's just brutalizing him because that's what it does. That's the programming of it. And I really liked the use of different kinds of shots in that. And I love how disorienting some of those camera angles were and like the placement of the camera in the environment was like a little off kilter. And I love that those were used at certain points to show how Jinu was trying to figure out his footing in this confrontation. But I'm surprised that we ended with 
him still being in this dungeon i guess because for like the tension but i thought that we would end with him i don't know aborting but it does make me wonder what the next episode is gonna hold is it gonna be all the way to the end of the job change arc or are we gonna end somewhere ominous because i feel like that would be a great way to set up some of the stuff coming up in in episodes to come and we also are setting up this stuff with Jeju Island so it's not like you can't end off on some other important piece of information as opposed to the job change arc. I don't know because again my idea of the pacing in this series has just been like completely off. I have no idea because the pacing at which I read the manhwa is different than the pacing that they are doing the anime. I guess because also whenever there's a bunch of fight scenes or stuff I end up going through it a little bit quicker because I don't really know that much about fight choreography as I do with more storytelling elements when it comes to the way that the story is drawn so that's usually when I focus in because that's something that I know a little bit more about when it comes to art and design and storytelling so I tend to focus in on those parts when I'm doing my actual read-throughs for Patreon but I don't know I don't know what the next episode's gonna hold but I like that we were setting up some of the other things with like Jeju Island and then also Jin Ho going through with his family the back and forth of setting up this guild and setting up some of that relationship not only with his father but also with his brother and how he fits into that dynamic there's so many great things that have been set up throughout this season that I only know are going to be like pulled forward into more things and other parts of the story that it just makes me super excited for what's to come in the anime to get to see it in animated form. But I hope you enjoyed watching that along with me. You can click this place to go and see my previous reactions or you can subscribe so this next time I post a soul leveling reaction and I will see you in the next video. Bye!